Meghan Markle covered up in a cap and coat as she went incognito on Monday night during a secret trip to New York for a baby shower thrown by her closest friends. The seven months pregnant Duchess of Sussex stepped out looking chic in a long black overcoat and a grey newsboy cap pulled down over her dark brown hair, and her large diamond engagement ring clearly visible on her wedding finger. She returned to the Big Apple over the weekend to spend time with her girlfriends before the arrival of her first child this spring and was seen being escorted into an SUV by a royal protection officer. Meghan, 37, is understood to have flown into the city on Friday for a surprise five-day trip after spending a quiet Valentine's Day evening with her husband, Prince Harry. A spokesperson for Kensington Palace would not divulge details of the Duchess's flights but confirmed that as it was a private trip it was privately funded. Her low-key and relaxed itinerary is said to have included shopping and eating good food, but with the main event being a baby shower with 15 of her closest friends at a hotel on New York's Upper East Side. The intimate event, due to take place today, is believed to have been organized by her best friend Jessica Moroni, who arrived in the city at the end of last week from her home in Toronto. The trip is a lovely chance to catch up with friends and spend time in a city she loves. This will be the last time a lot of them will see Meg until after the baby is born so it's nice to share precious moments, a source told Harper's Bazaar. Meghan kept her head down as she made her way to the SUV on Monday night, with her dark hair covering the side of her face. She carried a second wide-brimmed black hat in her hand, along with a white bag. While the Duchess of Sussex appeared to be making an attempt to go under the radar in her low-key ensemble, the large diamond engagement ring on her wedding finger was unmistakable. Her husband had the three-stone design made for her especially ahead of their engagement in 2017, using one diamond that he sourced in Botswana, where the couple holidayed together early on in their relationship. The dazzling design was clearly visible as Meghan made her way down the steps and into the car carrying her spare hat and a simple white bag that may well have contained a gift. Her nails appeared to be painted with a subtle sheer pink shade, a much more low-key polish option than some of the darker, bolder colors she has been known to model, despite royal traditions suggesting that only the most subtle of nude shades should be worn. In her other arm, the expectant mother had a large grey leather handbag held in the crook of her elbow. The bodyguard who escorted her to her waiting vehicle also appeared to be carrying a few of her possessions, including a Lululemon tote bag that was covered with Meghan Stan wool coat, suggesting the royal may have had more than one outfit option on hand. Meghan appeared to be going out of her way to remain unrecognizable during the short walk to the SUV, keeping her head lowered, and her hair pulled across her face, a far cry from the smiling hands-on appearances for which she has become known at pubic events. Her bodyguard also attempted to blend in, wearing a pair of charcoal grey trousers, and a quilted blue coat with a hood. He also carried a phone in his hand, along with Meghan's belongings. The visit marks the first time the Duchess of Sussex has been in the Big Apple since she said I do to Prince Harry in May 2018, and she wasted no time before visiting some of her favourite hot spots. Sources confirmed to Harper's Bazaar that friends are throwing Meghan a baby shower at an undisclosed Upper East Side hotel for 15 guests on Tuesday, the day before she leaves. Jessica Moroni, Meghan's close friend and unofficial stylist, is thought to not only be attending the shower, but also helping to spearhead the organization of the intimate event. The GMA fashion expert is also thought to have had a hand in helping Meghan with the planning of her wedding to Prince Harry. Meanwhile, Meghan's former Suits co-star Abigail Spencer took to Instagram stories on Monday to reveal she was traveling, which suggests that she may be headed to New York City for the shower. On the road again, she captioned the Instagram selfie that showed off her silver away suitcase. Although no other members of Meghan's inner circle have confirmed any details about the shower, sources have told Harper's Bazaar that the royal wanted the opportunity to spend time with her closest friends in one of her favorite cities before the birth of her first child, which is due in just a matter of months. The trip is a lovely chance to catch up with friends and spend time in a city she loves, a source told the outlet. This will be the last time a lot of them will see Meg until after the baby is born so it's nice to share precious moments.
but while the trip may have come as a surprise to some, according to the unidentified friend of the royals, Meghan's visit to the Big Apple was actually planned months ago. It's been a relaxing visit. Nothing beats face time with your friends, the person added. Meg will be flying home refreshed and relaxed, and with a lot of new baby clothes. Meghan's close friend Priyanka Chopra spent Valentine's Day in London, and it's possible they traveled to New York City together the next day. Tennis legend Serena Williams, Suits star Sarah Rafferty, designer Mishian Anu, brand consultant Benita Litt, and college pal Lindsay Roth are also among the friends who are likely to, to be guests at Meghan's shower. Pilates instructor Heather Dorak, another close friend who attended the royal wedding, welcomed her second child, a baby boy named Cody Cohen, on Valentine's Day and presumably won't be attending the exclusive party. Meghan joined Jessica at La Durée in Soho on Saturday to enjoy macarons and tea in one of the location's private spaces, according to Harper's Bazaar. Although Jessica is based in Canada, she arrived in New York late last week to film some style segments for Good Morning America, after being named the show's newest fashion contributor in late 2018. The decision to visit La Durée may well have been Meghan's however, as the known foodie once took part in a photo shoot for Todd's in the ornately decorated French restaurant. In an image from the shoot, she is seen sitting in the New York tourist hotspot, wearing a patterned suit, a white shirt, and a pair of silver Todd's loafers with fringing detail on the front. Her makeup for the shoot was rather more glamorous than the subtle, natural looks she seems to prefer now. In the photo, Meghan can be seen modeling a bright pink lip, and dark, smoky eyes, while staring right into the lens with a very serious expression on her face. But it seems the somewhat unimpressed look she was making in the shot does not reflect her feelings about the French eatery which is famed for its colorful confections and wide variety of teas, as well as its elegant interior. The Duchess also praised the restaurant in an interview with writer Barry Samaha. I love La Durée in Soho, she said. It's like a little slice of Paris in the middle of New York City. It is absolutely beautiful, and the courtyard is awesome, she added. Everyone should get the Coupe Soho, which is this amazing salted caramel ice cream. It's delicious. And it's not just La Durée that holds a special place in Meghan's heart, the Duchess spoke on a number of occasions about her love for New York City and its many restaurants, bars, hotels, and shops, even giving the website Citifile a full rundown of her favorite spots back while she was still starring as Rachel Zane in Suits. During the interview with the site, Meghan referenced several much-loved New York establishments, including the Marlton Hotel. Italian eatery Babbo, piano bar Marie's Crisis, and West Village favorite Fedora, which she praised for its dirty martinis. But according to sources, when Meghan isn't indulging in pastries from La Durée, she will be spending much of her time enjoying the many amenities at the undisclosed five-star hotel where she is believed to be staying for the duration of her trip. The day before she flew to New York, Meghan enjoyed a quiet Valentine's Day evening with Prince Harry their first as a married couple. The Duke of Sussex, 34, spent the early part of February 14 in Norway meeting British armed forces who are taking part in winter survival training in the Arctic Circle. As part of his visit, Harry was shown Quincy Shelter, which resembles a makeshift igloo. The space had been decorated with photographs of his wedding to Meghan ahead of his arrival, and he laughingly referred to as a shrine when he saw it. Harry chartered a private jet home to make it back in time to spend the rest of his day with his wife, who is a self-confessed sucker for Valentine's Day. Meghan wrote about her love of the romantic holiday on her now-defunct lifestyle blog The Tig. Without fail, every February 14, I wake up feeling like I'm immersed in a Robert Doisna photo, waiting with bated breath to be dipped into a kiss, she said. This is all happening in black and white, of course and in Paris, if I had my way. But delusions of Francophile grandeur aside, Valentine's Day is special wherever you happen to find yourself. And in terms of gifts, be it breakfast in bed, a sweet love note, or a single flower, it really is the thought that counts. Meghan is expected to return to London on Wednesday, 
ahead of an official royal visit to Morocco with Harry on February 23.